This is why we couldn't go to Benton Ow. Cliff when it was windy. You're just well. too clumsy. But can't wait to go next That's year, fine. though. Serves me right. I sting my bum. Oh well. Beavers. Which is supposed to be around here somewhere, not too far. Although I am a little early, it's only five o'clock ish. Maybe. Five thirty. Uh so hang around here for a bit, try and get a position. Supposedly, they're right near here. From what he was saying, I think they said they were here. You mean the guy in town? Can't try and find an open area. So that looks beaverish. What? The branches by the brook? Hence why I just fell in. Well, not fell in, but... You fell in because you're silly. I'm trying to look to see if I can find a dam. While we look for these beavers, Henry, why don't you tell us some information about these beautiful animals? Thank you, Russell. Remember you can support the channel by buying the images in the link provided below. Statistics. Length, 70 to 100 centimeters. Tail, 30 to 40 centimeters. Weight, 18 to 30 kilograms. Conservation status. European beavers, cast of fiber, were once heavily hunted for their fur and castorium, a substance used in perfumes and medicine. By the beginning of the 20th century, they were nearly extinct in many regions. However, through conservation efforts, populations have rebounded, and beavers have been successfully reintroduced to several areas in Europe. Beavers are being reintroduced into different parts of Great Britain after an absence of about 400 years. to see. These rodents are semi-aquatic animals, and their main habitat is freshwater systems such as rivers, streams, lakes and ponds. They usually prefer forested areas, though can also be found in swamps and marshes. Beavers prefer to live on 1-2% to low-gradient rivers on floodplains. They will live in headwaters if that is the best or only habitat available to them.
to see. Beavers are most active and visible during dusk and dawn. It's easiest to capture a good sighting of a beaver during the spring and summer months when they emerge before darkness falls. Ancient species. European beavers are one of the oldest and largest living rodent species in the world. Fossil records suggest that they have been around for at least two million years. Beavers reduce flooding. Eurasian beavers create dams and watercourses that store large amounts of water, made of sticks, branches, mud, stones, and vegetation. They also use fallen trees, culverts, weirs, and fish passes for dam building, and if rivers are wide, they build tunnels and burrows instead. These tunnels can extend up to 20 meters into the bank to avoid flooding. The network of ponds and canals they create holds water and slowly releases it into surrounding soils, forming absorbent wetland habitats. In areas prone to flooding, beaver engineering can be beneficial, as shown in the River Otter Beaver Trial in Devon, where beavers reduced flood flows by up to 60% even during heavy rain. By holding back water in wetlands and pools, beavers mitigate the risk of flash flooding after storms. Given the substantial costs of flood defences, which amounted to almost £2.6 billion pounds between 2015 and 2021 and were planned to double in the following six years, beavers offer a cost-effective approach to flood management. Finally, 
He's bringing me. We all know I am much more cuter than Russell. But I don't have the 360 camera yet, that will be coming later. I've only got the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Beavers improve water quality. Beavers not only alter water flow in landscapes but also improve water quality. Studies in America and Britain reveal that beaver ponds reduce nitrogen pollution, with bacteria digesting many nitrates and sediments trapping others. In Devon, beaver ponds significantly reduced sediment and pollutant flow downstream, with water entering containing around 150 mg of sediments and leaving with only 40 grams. In the UK, with just 14% of rivers in good ecological condition and around 70% of river nitrate pollution coming from agricultural runoff, beaver activity plays a crucial role in limiting pollution in waterways. And there are some signs of beavers. That's where I'm hoping that they've come out and uh, I can see them. Beaver breeding and predation. Beavers become sexually mature at around 20 months, producing one litter per year consisting of two to four kits. Unfortunately, kits face predation from foxes, dogs, birds of prey, and large pike, with potential threats from otters, minks, and badgers. Living in family groups with a breeding pair and offspring from the current and previous year, young beavers disperse at two years old to find their own territories. They use tail slapping as an alarm signal to warn other family members of danger. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi YouTube. Hello camera. You, this dog is very cute. Thanks. Please subscribe. I don't think the dog oh, this has this dog. I don't think the dog has a microphone. Break it. It's like stuff on my foot. Beaver's butts. Beaver butts secrete a goo called castorium, used for perfumes and fragrances, due to its unique and pleasant scent, castorium has been used as a fixative and base note in perfumes and fragrances to enhance their aroma and longevity. Traditional medicine, in traditional medicine, castorium was believed to have medicinal properties. It was used as an analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antispasmodic agent, although its use in modern medicine is rare. Food flavoring. In the past, castorium was used as a food flavoring agent, particularly in some alcoholic beverages and desserts, to add a distinctive vanilla-like flavor. Folk remedies. Some cultures have used castorium in folk remedies for various ailments, but these practices are not widespread today.
scent communication. Beavers are territorial animals, and a family group, a mated pair with their kits, typically maintains a territory that can range from several hundred meters to several kilometers along a river or stream. Beavers use scent glands located near their anus to mark their territories. The secretion from these glands, called castorium, serves as a form of communication and territorial demarcation. Beaver feeding habits and impact. Beavers have orange-colored teeth due to the amount of iron in their teeth, continuously growing in sizes with a chiseled shape that aids them in cutting through wood. They mainly eat bark, shoots, and leaves of broadleaf trees and shrubs, along with herbaceous plants and aquatic vegetation. They store branches in underwater food caches for winter consumption. While they avoid conifers, they may eat saplings or fell larger trees to build dams. Beavers can fell large trees, but they prefer saplings for their bark, branches, and leaves, with most feeding occurring within 20 meters of the water's edge. Their tree felling has the effect of natural coppicing. Beaver ponds create wet woodland areas with live willow, birch, and alder, along with dead woody material. I think that's the better option. Let's go and wait for green tag. Because I don't think this one was green tag. And just so you know, green tags, the male, uh, which was originally released, there was a red tag, unfortunately. Looks like she's passed, because uh, no one's seen her in months, and she was the more uh, showy one. So, that's very unfortunate, but she was quite old from what I have been told, although Green Tag quite old as well. Efficient Swimmers Beavers are incredibly efficient swimmers, capable of reaching speeds of up to 5 miles per hour in the water. They can also hold their breath for up to 15 minutes. Beavers have several unique adaptations that make them well suited to their semi-aquatic lifestyle. These include webbed hind feet for swimming, transparent eyelids that protect their eyes underwater, and valves that close off their ears while submerged. enjoyed it. Please remember to comment down below the animals that you would like to see and I hope to see you again in the future. Cheers, bye.